Hello guys and welcome, it's me Sammy from DIY Speed Garage and today I wanted to do a part one video of the uh, rear cargo area um, drawers that I'm trying to build, or one drawer I should say. And um, I wanna show you guys so far what I have done and what I still need to do. And I need help with, um, you know, I need a suggestion on the material that I should use for building my actual drawer. And um, let me show you guys what I have so far. And don't laugh, you know, if you see something funny, don't make fun of me. I'm not a carpenter. Um, I've done some woodwork, but not really cabinets or anything of that sort. So this is a first for me. And, um, you know, if you guys uh, have any suggestions, just let me know. So here we go, I'll show you guys. All right, so this is what I have so far. Um, this is all three quarter inch plywood. Um, I've already built my fridge enclosure. I have uh, ARB Classic 2 47 liter or 50 quart. Um, and then I have the slide that goes in here. So I've already made the holes for the slide and I've attached T-nuts to the bottom. Let me, let me show you guys the T-nuts on the bottom. So I have these T-nuts installed right there, right there. And then I have two in the back as well. So that's to attach, hold down my uh, ARB extended fridge slide. I have cut this at the back at an angle so that, you know, I don't lose any space. This is the seats reclined, you know, to a comfortable seating position. And uh, basically, you know, so that, you know, I don't lose any space and so that the seats are not vertical, you know, I've decided to just cut this at an angle. And that, that still leaves me space, basically. I'm still not done with this. I'm gonna install another piece that goes here and then right on the back i'm going to be mounting some of my uh <clears throat> electrical stuff uh, my battery is gonna go uh, behind the fridge it's gonna sit on the uh, slide and um so far this is what i have done um i've stained this i used some stain that i had lying around the house um Although this is not gonna be left like this. I have some other material that I'm gonna put over. It's like a rubber material, rubber mat. Um, and then the, my uh, my drawer is supposed to go here. However, I'm having a dilemma because I have a lot of this uh, three quarter inch plywood left over. And I could do the drawers in three quarter inch plywood. However, I'm thinking that's just gonna be overkill. That's gonna be way too thick for making drawers, in my opinion. But I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. You think I should get some uh, half inch and make the drawers out of half inch? Um, you know, it's gonna save me some weight. I, I still, I'm still gonna do the top, you know, out of three quarter inch, but it, you know, the sides, the front, the back, the bottom, I think that should be half inch. Um, and I don't need to buy whole sheets. Um, you know, I can just buy, they sell two by two by four sheets of the, of the half inch plywood. So I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. I'm thinking half inch is the way to go for the sides and the bottom and then just I can do the top with the three quarter inch. So please let me know as soon as possible. I wanna get this done this week. Um, yeah, just leave a comment, please. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do these drawers. I, I bought some uh, slides, heavy duty slides. Uh, apparently they're rated for 250 pounds. I don't know, but um, they're 30 inch slides. Because I calculated, you know, 
the 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 drawer is gonna be up to here so basically it's probably gonna go up maybe 12 inches at the top so from from there to the front it's about 33 I think so anyways let me know what you think should I use the half inch or should I just keep going with the quarter inch I mean with the three quarter inch uh, plywood all right guys thanks for watching bye